Hi friends, welcome to Akku's Nursing Classroom. In this video, I am going to discuss staff nurse previous question papers, mainly focusing on community health nursing questions. Question number 40. Rifambicin should be taken along with food one hour before or two hours after food along with milk or dairy products along with citrus fruit juices correct answer option b one hour before or two hours after food because absorption of rifampicin is reduced by food intake question number 41 the addition of pyridoxin along with isoniacid helps to prevent the occurrence of dash options are a gastrointestinal irritation b blood dyscrasia c liver damage d peripheral neuropathy correct answer option d peripheral neuropathy 10 to 20 mg daily pyridoxin vitamin b6 is administered along with inh it helps to maintain the health of nerves question number 42 which of the following anti tp drug leads to reddish discoloration of urine this is a repeated question. Options are A. Rifambicin B. Streptomycin C. Edambutol D. Pyrazinamide Correct answer. Option A. Rifambicin Because it diffuses into body fluids. Question number 43. Which of the following anti-TB drug leads to vestibular damage and nystagmus rather than deafness? Options are Rifambicin Streptomycin, Edambutol, Pyrazinamide. Correct answer. Option B. Streptomycin. It causes autotoxicity. Question number 44. Which of the following anti-TB drug is used for treatment of tuberculous meningitis? Options are A. Rifambicin, B. Streptomycin, C. Edambutol, D. Pyrazinamide. Correct answer. Option D. Pyrazinamide. It crosses blood-brain barrier and achieves high level in cerebrospinal fluid. Question number 45. Which of the following anti-TB drug is contraindicated in pregnancy? Options are A. Rifambicin B. Streptomycin C. Edambutol D. Pyrazinamide Correct answer option B. Streptomycin Streptomycin is contraindicated in pregnancy because it may cause congenital deafness. Question number 46. BCG vaccine is available in Options are A. Freeze dried form B. Liquid form C. Oil form D. Solid form Correct answer Option A. Freeze dried form The vaccine should be registered at a temperature below 10 degrees Celsius and must be protected from exposure to light during storage, wrapped up in a double layer of red or black cloth and in the field. Normal saline is recommended as a diluent for reconstituting the vaccine as distilled water may cause irritation. The constituted vaccine may be used up within 3 hours and the leftover vaccine should be discarded. Question number 47. How to transporting stool samples to Laboratory for analyzing presence of polio vaccine. Options are A. In a airtight, clean plastic container. Option B. Between frozen ice packs at 4 to 8 degrees Celsius in a cold box. Option C. In sterile container at 20 degrees Celsius. Option D. In a sterile container at room temperature. Correct answer. Option B. Between Frozen ice packs at 4 to 8 degree Celsius in a cold box. Stool specimens have to be sealed in containers and stored immediately inside a refrigerator or packed between frozen ice packs at 4 to 8 degree Celsius in a cold box in order to avoid destruction of viruses.